dear students today let us discuss one of the very important topic uh, present in the bsc chemistry syllabus of second semester of kuwempu university in the unit 4 of physical chemistry uh, we shall see some of the important aspects of solid state and crystallography Myself, Dr. Ganesh Acharya, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, IDSG Government College, Chikmagaluru. So, the uh, substances or solids are classified into mainly two types. One is isotropic and anisotropic crystals. Now, the amorphous solids are called as isotropic substances or solids because the various physical properties are seen in all directions because of the random arrangement of particles. So amorphous solids are isotropic solids. They possess the physical properties which are same in all directions because of random arrangement of particles. So these are called as isotropic solids. And crystalline solids are called as anisotropic solids. This implies that the physical properties such as refractive index, conductivity, thermal expansion etc are different in different directions it is due to the regular ordered arrangement of particles so crystalline solids are anisotropic and they possess the uh, physical properties la uh, like refractive index conductivity thermal expansion etc are different in different directions these are called as anisotropic solids now let us see what is actually meant by crystallography it is a branch of science that deals with the study of structure geometry and properties of crystals so crystallography is a branch of science that deals with the study of structure geometry and properties of crystals now if you consider a crystalline solid it possesses three types of elements of symmetry to distinguish from one another so there are several types of crystalline solids they possess three types of elements of symmetry the first F element of symmetry is plane of symmetry actually it is an imaginary plane which passes through the center of the crystal such that it divides the whole crystal into exactly two equal portions and which are mirror images of each other now if you look at this picture so this is the plane present exactly at the center and it divides the whole crystal into two equal portions which are exactly the mirror images of each other likewise here also it is present the plane is present at the center divides the whole crystal into two parts which are mirror images of each other here also the same so plane of symmetry is an imaginary plane passes through the center of the crystal divides the crystal into equal portions which are exactly the mirror images of each other that is called as plane of symmetry an axis of symmetry is an imaginary line passing through the crystal such that when the crystal is rotated about this line it presents the same appearance more than once in one complete revolution that means when you rotate the whole crystal by 360 degrees it appears as its original state 
So that axis is called as the axis of symmetry. Suppose the same appearance of the crystal is repeated on rotating it through an angle of 360 by n around the imaginary axis it is called as n fold axis so it may be 1 2 3 and so on so here it is a two fold of symmetry because it appears like its original position when you rotate it by 360 by 2 so when you rotate it by 180 degrees two times it will appear as its original position so it is an imaginary axis and uh, passing through the crystal such that when the crystal is rotated about this line it presents the same appearance more than once in a complete revolution that is called as axis of symmetry then the third one is center of symmetry it is an imaginary point in the crystal such that any line drawn through it inter intersects the surface of the crystal at equal distances that means when you draw a line from here from the surface to this point and from this point to the opposite surface it will be having equal distance in these two directions and similarly these two directions or these any direction when you draw a line you know it touches the surface at equal distance in the opposite direction so that is called as center of symmetry so it is an imaginary point in the crystal that any line drawn through it intersect the surface of the crystal at equal distances on either side okay so that is called as center of symmetry all right now by taking one example only the simple cubic system have one center of symmetry other system do not have center of symmetry the total number of planes axis and center of symmetries possessed by the crystal is termed as elements of symmetry okay the total number of planes axis center of symmetries possessed by a crystal is termed as elements of symmetry now the cubic crystal possesses total 23 elements of symmetry it includes 9 planes of symmetry 13 axes of symmetry and one center of symmetry so total will be 23 hope you understood what is crystallography what are isotropic and anisotropic solids and what are the three different elements of symmetry so we shall discuss the remaining aspects in our next video thank you very much for watching this video you can go through uh, these references to understand the, uh, in thorough about the crystallography uh, we shall meet again in our uh, next video thank you very much